you guys missed us at AMA Adventures Motorcycle Days, that's actually where these parts that we're gonna be messing with today came from. We just ran around to uh, vendors and people that were actually selling these parts, picked them up pretty cheap just so we can bring them back and give you guys a good demonstration of what our machines can do. So we're gonna do that again today. You can see this one here has been heavily blasted. Uh, you can see a little bit of paint that was left on it. This thing was starting to get taken back down to the bare metal and starting to look great. But today we're gonna to continue with this guy. So if you look over here in the corner, we've already done a little bit of crushed glass. That's something that we don't get to experiment around with a lot here in the showroom just because of how aggressive it is. And typically for the stuff that we're doing, we don't need it. Um, so I wanna do a comparison between crushed glass, we're gonna do a little bit of aluminum oxide, and I'm gonna try and remove some of this paint with some glass bead. We'll see if it will. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, it's just not really aggressive enough. But if that's the case, I'll do aluminum oxide again and then polish it with glass beads so that you can get a good idea of how these abrasives treat the actual part and what their capabilities are. So let's get to it. So the cabinet that we're gonna be starting with is the VH800 fully loaded. Now this one doesn't look like the ones that you see on our website. And that's because this is actually the first plastic cabinet we ever made. That was back in 2015, 2016-ish. And this thing has been through some abuse. We use it pretty much every day here in the showroom. And it just goes to show how robust these plastic cabinets really are. Because like I said, literally we use this thing every time we come in here because it's always got a really good abrasive that we want to use. And this one, it's a 120 aluminum oxide. That's kind of a, a larger grit aluminum oxide. We also have 220, but it does go up to like a, a 70, 80-ish grit. That's for really, if you're trying to do Cerakote prep, this right here is really good for just removing paint and leaving behind a, a pretty etched surface. So that's what we'll do right now. And just a matter of a few short seconds, how much I was actually able to take off. I mean, that's insane. You're really wiping it away at this point. And I know this paint's been on here for a long time. And so it's got to reach the point where it's ready to let go. So I'll do a little bit more here. I think I want to throw 220 aluminum oxide in the mix also. So I'll kind of come over here and do that. And then I'll finish this area over here in glass bead. I think as easily as this is removing, I think we'll be able to do it with glass bead. So you can see just how bright it's made that. And again, you can probably tell on camera how rough this is just because of how the light kind of reflects off of it versus how, how much smoother this aluminum oxide is. The 220 is actually gonna be even smoother and then the glass bead will be the smoothest result we get. Now, this machine here, this is the VH800 base. So it's a step below the fully loaded because it doesn't have the precision regulator, doesn't have the, the dryer and a few few other components, but this is still a perfect machine. And it's honestly one of our favorites just because of the price point that it comes in at. No problem. So that's my 220 strip coming right here and I can already visibly tell that it's a little bit smoother than the 120. The actual metal itself just looks smoother. Again, took this paint off no problem. Boom. Just like that, another section removed. Again, I do not recommend glass bead if you're trying to do any sort of paint removal. Occasionally it works, I think it will for this. And that's just because this paint's at the point to where it kind of wants to come off. If you have some sort of coating, um, something like anodizing, I definitely would suggest to use glass bead. Actually, Ryan, not to correct you, but we have proven that we can use glass bead to remove anodizing. And we have videos to actually prove that. Check them out in the link. The abrasive itself, if you look at it under a microscope, it's round and it's just not aggressive enough to take anything like that off, but it is the absolute best when it comes to polishing anything up. So let's see how it looks. So you guys can see it is taking that paint off, but it is a lot slower. You could already see a strip. This here, I'm having to hold it on it and it's not taking it off. A 
And there is a quick example between these abrasives. So again, if you look over here, this is crushed glass. It's very aggressive. It is perfect for removing paint. So it absolutely rips when it comes to taking off paint, but it does leave a pretty unattractive surface, especially on aluminum, just because of how soft aluminum is as a metal. Kind of what sandblast does, this is pretty much as close as you're gonna get to normal sandblast if you're using an aggressive media. Then we've got 120 aluminum oxide. And again, you can kind of see the glimmering in the sun. This is a rougher finish, but this is perfect if you're trying to do any sort of powder coating afterwards. The 220 aluminum oxide, this gives you kind of a matte finish, but the surface is actually a lot more smooth. So this is, this is actually good if you want to leave it this color, but if you want a more matte kind of darker color. And then of course you've got the glass bead, which has been our champion for years because it creates such beautiful surfaces and they're incredibly smooth. So what this is gonna do is for like, if you want to leave it in that raw aluminum state, because the glass bead, when it rolls over the actual aluminum itself, because it seals those pores, this thing's gonna be less susceptible to oils and whatnot. So you're not gonna have as many deposits on the actual part, meaning it's gonna stay this way for longer. If you guys have any questions about medias, or wet blasting machines, wet blasting in general, leave it in the comments below. We'd love to answer that for you guys. Or even if you wanna call in, our number is 828. It's been a minute, hold on. Ah, I remember. 828-202-5563. We'd be happy to answer any questions for you guys and also place an order for you. If you guys are ready to start getting excellent machines in your shop to do stuff just like this, again, our number is 828-202-5563. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have some questions. And if you have an opinion about this video, put it down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. If you think it's informative, go check out the other stuff on our channels. We post stuff like this every day, trying to help you guys out. If there's something that you wanna see, seriously tell us. We want to get information provided to you guys and we need to know what you need to see. So again, put it below. We want to hear from you guys.